Putin's only anti-tank weapon that Ukraine keeps buying is the Javelin. Do you need to reach out and touch an enemy tank to send it to its death? Take a look at the Javelin anti-armor system. It's one of the world's greatest anti-tank missiles. It's a game-changing, lightweight, US-made weapon in unconventional warfare, but it's also a pricey piece of gear, with each missile often priced more than the targets it destroys. So today, we'll be talking about this anti-tank missile, what Russia's role is in it, and more. So stay tuned. So what is the Javelin system and how does it work? A Javelin launcher costs about the same as a new Porsche at $126,000. The FGM-148 Javelin is one of the world's most advanced portable anti-tank missile weapons. Nonetheless, the infrared-guided Javelin has proven itself in battle in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria. It has a solid gimmick that should work on practically any tank. It strikes the weak top armor. Compared to a standard guided missile system, it also puts its crew in less danger. Because it's so light, it may wind up becoming a first responder on the ground in situations like large surprise tank invasions. The Javelin is a man-portable anti-tank system designed for the United States Army and Marine Corps. The Javelin will give the infantry, scouts, and combat engineers a medium anti-tank capability against tanks with conventional and reactive armor. It is a simple-to-operate, low-cost infantry system with two key components, a reusable command launch unit and a missile enclosed in a disposable launch tube assembly. The CLU is equipped with an internal day-night sight and can engage targets in poor weather and countermeasure situations. The launch device can also be utilized in a standalone mode to monitor the battlefield and detect targets. The round must be paired with the CLU for the system to work. The missile, which has a warhead intended to overcome both conventional and reactive armor, may be fired in top attack or direct fire mode at the gunner's option. The primary method of action is top attack, whereas direct fire is used to engage opponents hidden behind cover. This is how it works. With the command launch unit, the gunner can locate a tank or armored vehicle at any time of day or night. The seeker system receives an infrared image as a result of this. There are numerous imaging modes available for a target lock, including thermal viewing. Then comes the missile. The Javelin's main feature is fire and forget technology, which allows the gunner to fire and then seek cover instantly. The unique features are the innovative tandem warhead, infrared imaging seeker, target lock on before launch, and soft launch. The Javelin can be fired safely from enclosures and covered fighting positions. The Javelin is intended to take the place of the Dragon. A brief history. The development of Javelin as a successor to the M47 Dragon anti-tank missile was granted a contract by the U.S. Army in 1989. Texas Instruments, now Raytheon Missile Systems of Dallas, Texas, and Lockheed Martin Electronics and Missiles, now Missiles and Fire Control of Orlando, Florida, founded the Javelin joint venture. The Javelin reached full-rate production in 1994, and the U.S. Army deployed the system for the first time in June 1996 at Fort Benning, Georgia. During Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, the U.S. Army and Marine Corps and Australian Special Forces used the Javelin system, which is now deployed in Afghanistan. Surveillance activities also take advantage of the CLU. When the CLU was deployed in Afghanistan and Iraq, it proved successful in target identification and battlefield reconnaissance when used in standalone mode. The U.S. and coalition fired more than 2,000 rounds. During a demonstration in February 2013, the missile reached a range of 4,750 meters. In June 2013, five javelins were successfully launched as part of the Yuta Abbas joint exercise between the Indian and U.S. militaries. In May 2014, the Cranfield Ordnance Test and Evaluation Center successfully test-fired a javelin missile from a turret. In September 2019, the Javelin missile was launched from a Titan Autonomous ground vehicle, utilizing Kongsberg Remote Launcher. More than 25,000 missiles have been manufactured, with over 6,600 command launch units delivered to the U.S. Army and Marine Corps. OMEN requested 30 launchers and 250 missiles from the FMS in June 2006. Bahrain requested 60 launchers and 180 missiles from the FMS in July 2006. In July 2008, Contracts for the sale of the missile system to the UAE and OMEN were signed. Taiwan sought the supply of an additional 182 missiles and 20 launchers in October 2008. Six other countries are looking at deploying the Javelin system. India has also proposed acquiring the Javelin system via the FMS method, 
and will send the government a letter of request. The LOR will entail the purchase of a third generation anti-tank guided missile and technology transfer. The exact number of Javelin systems will be determined later, but it is expected to be in the thousands. For $69 million, France also bought 260 missiles and 76 launchers. So, why are they so effective? First, we must state that the Javelin is lethal against a wide range of targets. It only gets more interesting from here. The launcher is 5 to 10 yards away from the first motor, which places the munition there. The primary propellant is then activated. The missile climbs upward towards a steep angle before landing precisely on a tank's weak spot, the top of the turret. This is why the anti-armor capabilities are so powerful. Before swooping down to kill the target, the missile still goes up at first, but at a mild angle in indirect assault mode, against walls, bunkers, and emplacements. The command launch unit on the Javelin features a powerful infrared sensor with numerous viewing modes, including 4x optical zoom, 4x greenlit thermal view, and 12x narrow vision zoom for targeting. The Missile Seeker even has a fourth 9x thermal imaging mode. As a result, the infantry may use the CLU as a scanning instrument. The thermal viewers on the Javelin must be cooled to operate properly, which takes 30 seconds in theory, but may take a little longer if it's a breezy 120 degrees in Baghdad at noon. Multiple protections are also included in the system to prevent or stop an unintentional launch. When equipped with a missile, the CLU weighs 50 pounds and may be shot from a crouch or even sitting posture. That's a lot less than the wire-guided TOW or other long-range missiles, which usually require a large tripod. Even so, it's hardly something you'd want to use to run a marathon with. The Javelin missile is released out of the CLU without activating its rocket motor in a soft launch, causing a comparatively minimal backblast when the firer finds a target, locks the infrared seeker on it, and presses the trigger. Missile launch backblast not only makes it simple for opposing troops to locate the launcher after it is fired, but it also makes launching from within a confined place a lethal risk. As a result, Javelin's tiny backblast is quite beneficial in keeping the user alive. You don't want to stand exactly behind the launch since it blows back some gas. Unlike other long-range anti-tank missiles, the Javelin is a fire-and-forget system that requires no additional input after launch. The gunner could play on their phone if they desired to. The Javelin may also be used in direct attack mode to hit targets that are too close for top assault or benefit from the top covers, such as a bunker or cave entrance. Direct fire mode might be helpful against low-flying helicopters as well. The Javelin's range of 2.5 kilometers is one of its few drawbacks. Older missiles, such as the TOW or Cornet, have ranges of 5 millimeters or more, making them suitable for most combat scenarios. Are there enough Javelins in Ukraine to fight the Russians? Other nations, particularly Ukraine, facing an estimated 94,000 Russian soldiers on its border, desperately want the Javelin. In that vast force, there are at least 1,100 Russian tanks. Moscow dispatched another battalion of T-80U tanks. The Ukrainians opted to stockpile Javelin anti-tank missiles, but there aren't enough of them. At $126,000 per launch, they're not cheap. The Ukrainians purchased 210 missiles and 37 launchers in 2018. In 2019, they bought 150 missiles and 10 launchers. According to a November 2021 article, they had already utilized them a couple of times. So, how effective are the relic-style ERA and soft-kill infrared defenses against the Javelin? Until Moscow unexpectedly invites the United States to pit its anti-tank missiles against its finest tanks in a friendly match, there's no way to tell for sure. But don't hold your breath for the U.S. to compete in Russia's annual tank biathlon, considering the current state of ties. Most operators never have the chance to fire a live Javelin round since firing one is almost equal to tossing away a new Porsche. What are your thoughts on the Javelin? And how do you think it may be improved to make it even more lethal? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.